G'day, g'day guys. Welcome to another video. This is another one in the six videos for the 2000 subscriber giveaway. So let me just very quickly, while you can see what I'm doing here, I'm building my page and I'm just drawing some circles. Now, let me get into my little spiel. So to celebrate reaching 2000 subscribers, I will be giving away two gift cards, both to the value of 50 Australian dollars. Now, all T's and C's are listed below. And don't forget to collect all six code words, which pop up throughout each video, one word per video, and they will be on screen on the selected videos, and they'll be posted from the 8th of April, 2024, to the 19th of April, 2024. Then you need to go to the Facebook group, which is listed linked in the description below, and you post all six code words by 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on the 20th of April, and winners will be notified by me directly. Good luck, and the giveaway closes at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on the 20th of April, 2024. Now, let's get into the video. I am creating this video from scratch. I have, to say that I've been sort of a bit discombobulated basically with my scrapbooking the last couple of, couple of weeks, just trying to get used to my work life, my family sort of balance. You know what I mean? You, you all know what I'm talking about. And I'm just trying to get everything to work for me. Now, something that I find helpful because I struggle to do a little bit of a layout and then come back to it. So if I'm going to do that, I have to have a very clear cutoff point. So this sort of, excuse me, um, this sort of um, layout allows me to do some and then come back to it and then do the next sort of step, if that makes sense. So I have actually done a couple of layouts that are very basic. They're very basic, but the reason I've done them this way is because obviously, as I just said, I'm trying to do little bits and come back to them kind of thing. So this particular section of this video, I was actually doing at 4 a.m. Um, in the middle of the week. So I get up nice and early and which is by choice, but um, my eldest daughter goes off to work at some crazy hour of the day. So when I get up with her, I don't burn those daylight out, those <laughs> before daylight hours. I don't burn them. I get into the craft room and get a little bit of color on paper or I, I feel like I need to get my... Um, Got to get my little crafty bit going. I've, I've got to kind of do that because otherwise the rest of my day, there is no craft involved in it, let me tell you. So I am going around these. Now these are the Montmartre, what do they call them? Um, metallic acrylic paint pens. Now acrylic paint, for those that don't know, acrylic paint is not, once it's dried, it's permanent. It doesn't go anywhere. These are metallic. I sort of, well, they are metallic, but I don't know. That I I would sort of, well, they're not matte. They do have a metallic to them, but it's not glittery. So no, you don't get any um, glitter come off on your hands, you know, like if you, once they're dry. So I sort of, I was having a play with them, to be completely honest with you. This video actually started by me playing on a scrap when I sat down and I just wanted to have a bit of a play and see what the colors were like and did I want to use all of them on one layout did I not once I got to probably halfway through the coloring part of this I knew exactly where I was going with the layout so even though it took me I think it took me about four sessions to get this done so this particular layout took me uh took me over four morning or three mornings and well this morning so this morning I finished it off super super simple 
no big deal and it was done now this is super bold super bright very metallic all the things that I love the most and where was I going with this that's where I was going with this I knew this I've got if you could see right now <laughs> in front of me I have got post-it notes everywhere like I kid, kid you not things that people have asked me to possibly do in the near future um, some ideas that I'm that they would like some extra things on one of those one of those things was and I didn't actually write the lady's name down for this I normally do I normally have the person who has requested it whether they've contacted me through Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whichever, I usually communicate with them and that way I can give them a bit of a shout out, this one's for you sort of thing. Now, now I have to be honest with you, this black pen by the way is my black Posca paint pen because I wanted a matte finish. Could I have used these acrylic paint pens on black cardstock? Yes I could. Did I think of that before I started? Not really. And because I wanted it to really pop, that's why I did it this way. But if you try and do this, do it on black cardstock and it saves you a whole extra step. Trust me. Now, one of the things that I've been, that I've had requested from, it's actually been from a couple of people so I've actually got two dots next to it, which means it's been from three people in total. So uh, I have requested that I show you how to get texture on a page without necessarily adding lots of bulk to it. Now, some of the layouts that I've done previously where I've said to you, you get texture but not heaps of bulk because we all have to try and figure out a way of getting the texture we want versus the bulk that's going to take up lots of space in our albums which are not cheap and you know we have to store these things we have to figure out where we're going to put them so yeah so this is one way of creating the texture so automatically by going around the metallic which gives you shine so it gives you two different colors depending the way you're looking at it so that automatically does it now i'm coming in with just white acrylic paint and i'm just adding a pattern to the top of the colored bits and i'm just using all different stencils i didn't write down each individual stencil for this one i just put down uh I just wrote stencils. The only one I can honestly tell you where it came from. I think most of these little white ones, they came from um, their Poppy Craft stencils and they came from Crafts Online. And that's if you're an Aussie, you know where that is. Um, and the green one is a Kaiser Craft stencil. Kaiser Craft are genius. Can I tell you why? That green, you can look at anyone's stencils but as soon as you see that green one you know it's a case craft stencil 100 percent. it's fantastic it's genius why do we not think of this thing tim holt why have you not made all your stencils black like come on now you know make it grungy make them brown make them something so that it, we don't have to label them we don't have to do anything with them we know automatically that's a range of stencil that's a Tim Holt stencil. I know he's got his name on it. I get that. But hey, sometimes I just like to know by picking it up. Tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, so now I'm just going back over these again. I did a very, very light coating of the white acrylic paint. That's just the 99 cent acrylic paint from Aldi. So, and it goes over beautifully. If you do a really thin coat, it dries in a millisecond. So you can then come back in with your pens and all that sort of bizzo and it's all good. Now I'm just fixing up any little bits where I went outside the line with the stencil. See, even I do it. I didn't mask it off in any way. I think that's just adding extra steps personally. So I'm loving how this one is turning out. It And the end result is 
so pretty. I love it. It's busy. This one is a busy one. But if you don't want to, now the other thing I want to tell you is if you don't want to, maybe you're not into mixed media. Can you see? I just changed the photo. This is another day. So I changed the photo. Um, so basically what I'm doing is going around with my pen, adding finer detail. These actually remind me of those painted rocks that you find um, at the beach. You know, I know around our area, people paint up rocks and if you find one, you have to then hide it again for somebody else. And it's really cool. And that's kind of what these reminded me of. If you don't like mixed media, if you don't like paint and all that sort of thing, you could quite easily do this out of cardstock. You could get a six by six paper. You could use your scraps. You could cut, just cut wiggly shapes. Like you don't have to be specific. There's nothing specific and difficult about this. Honestly, this was just my mind just getting, being free and just doing whatever I wanted. All the colors go together. Are they rainbow? No. Are they in a rainbow order? No. They all go together. They're just metallic colors. So, and I just found that by going around some of the shapes with my black Posca paint pen and with my Uniball Signo Broad, white pen which is what I'm using at the moment just to add this white pen is actually it's pigment ink so it sits on top of your colored cardstock or in this case over the white Posca paint pen and can you see how white and how much that really pops that makes all the difference on a layout and if you're like me and you yes we're scrapbooking our photos but we scrapbook for our mental health as well this is a great way of doing it. You can go to town and take forever to do one layout just because, not for any other reason, just because, because it's fun. Now I went to my Lunar Pastes and I haven't used these for ages and I just, I love them and I'm trying to justify buying the next lot that's just come out. So um, I am, now I'm putting the Lunar Paste tone on tone but I'm not I'm using the same stencil that I've already used with the white but I'm not completely filling it in it's just a little switch of the metallic on top like a swatch of it a switch of it she whiz so that's just on top now I what I love to do with my lunar paste when I'm creating all this texture is I like to bubble it now, I didn't do that with all of these. I only bubbled one color. So it gave me all different textures. These stencils are so simple to clean. Bit of water, but make sure if you're using Luna Paste or um, your stencil butter or Vicky Booten, she's got a similar product. Can't think of it off the top of my head. Sorry, Vicky. Um, they, are, they will dry on your stencil and they will affect the way it works next time so make sure you wipe it as quick as you can just so it doesn't especially these kind of finer sort of stencils they won't not as robust so I don't mind leaving a bit of the paint on there if it's acrylic paint it doesn't bother me at all you can see that by that one but when it comes to the lunar paste or the texture paste or the matte paste or the light modeling paste, any of those, I make sure that I get it off. And see, this is the one, see the green, see how I'm bubbling it? Look, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that with it because it's a plastic sort of acrylic. Acrylic by nature is plastic. So you're probably not supposed to do that with it, but you know what, it feels amazing. And as soon as Taylor walked in the door, and she realized what I was doing and she heard, as soon as my kids hear my um, heat tool, they know I'm using something and they want to come and see what I'm doing. And she touched it and she's like, oh, actually you can see her hand here shortly. She sticks her hand in there and she's like, oh, it feels so good. So, you know, I, I love doing that. So can you see how this is building? Now, as I said, this took me a few days to sort of go where's this going to go? Where, what, are, what am I going to do with this layout? I made it all about the artwork. So, um, yeah, I had a blast. Let me know. Is this something that you would give a go? 
uh, at your place. If you don't have stencils, there's lots of things that you can create texture like this with. You could use plastic. You know the plastic that comes around your oranges? Um, you could use some of that. You could use uh, a tea strainer. You could press some paste through that. You could use, uh, I'm just trying to think of all different things that would be you know, your plastic sponges that you get in, that you use in your shower, horrible things they are. But if you have an old one of them, cut some of that off and you could use that for texture. There's stacks of different things if you don't. And if you don't have the budget to outlay for lots of stencils and stuff, money's tight. You know, we're all tight with money. So have a look around your house and see what you've got. There's your code word, guys. If you're playing along and you want to participate in the giveaway, there's your code word. It's on the screen now. Now I am simply going around these last few bits and pieces. I've got to tell you, I absolutely love how this layout came out. I was earlier on in the week, I was a little concerned that it just wasn't going to come to fruition for me, but it really did. It came together. Now this is another thing that I do as a cheapskate. You know, I like to stretch my supplies when I can you know sometimes if I'm now I'm only doing three videos a week I will be stretching my supplies a little bit because it's not so much about the speed of what I'm doing it's getting me back to my grassroots kind of thing you know getting back to just the basics and I love it absolutely love it now you can see this is a photo of Jen this is my youngest daughter and she was obviously using a filter of some description because there's hearts on it. I don't know how that happened, but she obviously used something on it. And it, it looks like her. She hasn't got horns or anything, but it's, yeah, she's got hearts on there. And I thought that was a cute picture. So I decided to go ahead and cut that one out and print that one up and cut it out and do all the bits and pieces. Now, I just wanted a simple title because I think you'd agree with me if I went over the top of this with another big bold title, kind of negates doing all the work in the background. So I decided that I would just call it Smile and simply pop it down the bottom. And I'm loving how this works. Now, this is something that I always say in all my videos. I like to have things replicated, so by three. Now, Normally, if I use black somewhere, I need to have the black on there three times. I've done that. I've got the black Posca paint pen, which could have quite easily been black cardstock. And I've got the black border around the photo and the black title. Now, the likewise with the white, I'm, I've got the white border, the white border around smile, white border around the face. And now I'm coming in with the white highlights in and around the little blobs. So Taylor's hand was in and out so quick then it wasn't funny. So um, yeah, so that's that's my layout, guys. Let me know what you think. Is this something you'd give a go? I'm going to zoom in nice and close for you in a minute so you can see exactly how it looks. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to save up all your code words and I will be back with another video tomorrow to let you know, um, yeah, here's all the close-ups. See all the bubbly on the green if you hold your heat tool on it just a tiny bit longer it bubbles it but you know i'm pretty sure that's not what simon hurley's plan for the product was but i just love that effect of that it does so um yeah so there you go guys there's my layout thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe hit the thumbs up all that sort of stuff collect all the code words because hey who can't do with 50 bucks at the moment so thanks so much, guys. I'll chat to you soon. Bye for now.